Welcome, everybody. I've tried to talk to everyone I knew by face or name, but I guess uh, along the workshop I will keep uh, uh, getting introduced to all of you. Um, welcome to this first Planetary GS workshop at ISAC. Uh, we're going to give you a quick introduction. We're going to run through the program, explaining you a little bit of background and the objective of the, of the workshop. Uh, we're going to talk about the wiki and how we're going to use it, Slack or so, um, how you want to communicate to, to, to the outside world if you want to, and some, uh, we're going to cover some important logistic information at the end. So <clears throat> first, ISAC, uh, the ISA uh, Planetary Science Archive and the user group. So this workshop has been organized uh, in, the con in the context of the recent development of uh, the PSA and um, being, um, uh, say, uh, based on uh, recommendations from the PSA user group. Uh, we will cover that uh, later. Uh, about a few words about ISAC. Uh, we do, uh, ISAC does science operations planning for planetary missions and uh, uh, astronomy missions, but it's also the center for uh, hosting all the science archive from all those missions. Um, astronomy mission, heliospheric, and planetary. So the, the PSA itself uh, has been established in 2003, uh, so it's not new. The PSA uh, interfaces with the community uh, directly uh, through the the PSA user group. Uh, Angelo is chair of that group and is uh, co-organizing the workshop uh, with me and all the other uh, workshop um, organizing committee members. Um, we uh, have an history of uh, holding uh, a variety of data workshops at ISAC. This facility has been built in the last years and uh, it's meant to host uh, more and more scientific conferences and data workshops. So we're very, very grateful for having this facility which allowed us to welcome so many people today. Um, planetary data workshops started uh, around 2007. Uh, that was the first one, uh, the first uh, Mars Express data workshop we have a few people, or at least two on that picture, that were here in 2007. <laughs> you can raise your hand. Elliot was here. Angelo I was here. I changed shirt, at least. Hmm? I changed shirt and I stopped yes, shaving. Yes, he changed shirts. He has the same beard. Aged a little bit. I was taking the picture. You can see the PI uh, on Omega. Uh, I think it was a joint Omega HRC workshop. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, also, we, with the support of uh, the NAVE team from JPL, we have hosted a few uh, SPICE workshops. Actually, that, that dates back to before 2007, I think from 2005-ish. What, this one? No, the first SPICE workshop. The first SPICE workshop, It was yeah. a test date. I guess, Angelo, you want to say a few words about the PSA user group? Really few because there is some dedicated uh, uh, little part uh, on the last day, if I'm not wrong. But the PSA is a group, uh, it's relatively recent. It's uh, a small group appointed uh, by ISA to interface with the community and to try to make sure that PSA is going in a direction uh, that uh, fits also the needs of the user community. So essentially, uh, in order to advise, we have to figure out what the community wants. That's why, as you have heard, because you were spammed by a few of our mails, we asked for inputs, uh, and among the inputs we got is that uh, uh, geospatial data were some uh, uh, important thing to be um, treated and discussed, and that's one of the reasons why we are here. Um, and of course, there are some other tasks, uh, but I will go into detail uh, a bit later. Yeah, there will be a dedicated talk uh, in, the, uh, in the last day. Mm -hmm. I can run through the slides. Oh, okay, well, so we can both stay here. Yeah, okay. Brilliant. We did the all together. And, I mean, this is simply what you already saw in the first announcement, the second, and the final one. 
But essentially, um, the need for such a workshop was coming from different directions. I think that ESA was realizing that there was such a need. The community definitely had uh, um, this uh, need in mind that was conveyed both in different occasions in the past and uh, uh, through the user, through and, we, and to the user group. So it was something in between uh, bottom up, largely, and top down, but I think that we are mostly uh, now representing the bottom up mm -hmm. uh, approach at this moment. And uh, essentially, we wanted to uh, see what's around in terms of technology, in terms of, uh, of application, but also in terms of scientific use cases. Some of them exist, some of them are going to be developed soon within projects that are not necessarily related to ESA directly. Mm, some, several actually that you will see presented in the forthcoming days and hours are by the European Commission. Uh, but regardless, there is some critical mass within the community and we try to, to gather it. And that's why we want to assess this critical mass and uh, see how much we can do in terms of, of uh, capacity building so that uh, we don't have to, or you or all of us don't have to start from scratch every time to look for tools, to look for a way to access data and use them in a scientifically meaningful way. And again, uh, this is a bit up to us uh, and uh, also up to the boundary condition. Try and set the base for some uh, uh, open, collaborative and uh, community, if not driven, at least friendly way to, to exploit this data, exploit in a more uh, positive term. And again, something that has not been done so far that much and could be part of one track in particular, track A, is to figure out uh, both with respect of, of, of tools and, uh, and issues cases if different communities that are not necessarily tied to the geospatial one, uh, which is typically the, the one looking at surfaces, so at solid bodies, uh, they can benefit also from uh, 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 geospatially enabled or uh, geospatial approach or GIS approach. And in this respect, in uh, less than one month from now, no, in more than one month from now, a little more, there is a workshop which is uh, even bigger than this in the US. And I think some of you uh, will be there. And Trent will uh, mention this later. So uh, we try to do this, well, we'll see how we do, we manage. But uh, having said that we have a structure that we build uh, together with all of you in the last several weeks, we will try to be interactive and that's also part of the, the reason why we use such tools that you will see in a moment, uh, to do things together, to do them in an open fashion as much as possible, and also in informal ways. So it's not a conference, uh, and uh, we are not that stiff, none of us, uh, so we try to accommodate the needs as they come, trying to keep uh, a reasonably uh, manageable agenda, but we're flexible. And uh, you will uh, see this maybe in a moment. And again, we want to be practical as well. Yes, and you should be patient, that's for sure. So far we didn't have uh, technical hiccups, but they can always come. The World <laughs> Workshop Organizing Committee, you know already, and it's uh, um, with a good component of ISAC and uh, different parts of the community, not only the special one, you see some of them are also members of the user group, um, but definitely there is a clear uh, ISAC component, also because without ISAC this full and never uh, been done by this point. Uh, maybe you could uh, you could run through the participants and you, each each of them could stand up and not not, not I don't ask you to present introduce yourself but just so that everybody knows every, uh, everybody's face so that if you so you mean the eighty participants? Nicola, yeah yeah just ah. just to, to to have put a face on a on a name no so Nicola Angelo Trent can you just stand up uh, Stefan thank you <laughs> uh, Baptiste. Thank you, Baptiste. Dave, Heather. Hi, Dave. Santa. Jonathan. Lisa. Bruno. Hey, hi, Bruno. Uh, Guido. Uh, Alba, where is Alba? She's Alba, Alba is song. gone, but without Alba, uh, this workshop wouldn't have been possible. She, she's uh, organized all the secretary logistic uh, aspects. You saw her in the entrance when you got you got the badge. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, thanks a lot. I think we have any way to switch it to you because, but yeah. well, the participants, we are nominally 80. I think we are slightly less, uh, slightly, well, 70 ish, didn't count. Yeah. Uh, but there are some, at least uh, one or two, that uh, are trying to follow us from somewhere else. They could not make it for different reasons. Uh, and I think uh, this was uh, 
this matrix come from you? I, I guess we are from 40, 40 different yeah. places, at least more than 30. Which is not bad. Yeah. Then I would say that I leave the stage to you. And yeah. I Okay, Hide back so now we're going to run quickly through the, the program that you should have printed on your desk and uh, it's also available from the wiki. Um, so basically the first day uh, we want to be an introduction for everyone who's not really, we not necessarily all have the same set of skills and, and knowledge on GIS and just have a smooth introduction before getting into a more interactive, collaborative uh, uh, activity uh, on the second day where we're going to address hands-on and the open session and on the last day we're going to address the topics related to uh, community building so we expect this to be really uh, very participative so in the first day this is typically the day where you can pretty much sit on your uh, seat uh, check your emails <laughs> look at the present <laughs> listen to the presentation but uh, because we wanted to involve you uh, as much as possible, uh, we decided to group uh, talks uh, by three and have a Q&A uh, Q after, after this set of three talks. So during those talks, of course you can ask any, you can raise your hand and interrupt the speaker if you're really something that puzzles you and you need to solve immediately. Otherwise you're encouraged to write your questions down and address them during the Q&A. So that's pretty much the, uh, the philosophy, the idea for the first talk. Um, and this is uh, just an overview. I think this is way too small for you to look at it, but it's on the wiki. Um, it's a combination, today is a combination of uh, scientific and, and tech kind of talks. So we try to mix both and we wish we could have give the floor to uh, uh, everyone, but we've been quite overwhelmed by the interest of, uh, of the participants for that workshop, so we had to stick uh, some of your abstracts into the open session in line in talks the, the, the second day. But everybody will get the opportunity to, to contribute and to talk about their work and get advice or recommendation or support from each other. Um, after this intro talk, uh, we're going to have uh, two uh, Planetary GS intro talks. One from uh, Stefan van Gassel and then one from Trent. And then we're going to start this after the, the coffee break, the half hour coffee break. After that, we're going to start the series of, of uh, more classical talks, I would say. <coughs> On day two, um, should I mention the, the VM now or? Because tomorrow we're going to have the hands-on in the morning. So you've received the emails about setting up your VM. They, you have information on the wiki. We're going to throw in the wiki after that. Um, but the earlier you start downloading your, your virtual machine on your laptop and setting up your uh, laptop for, for the, the hands-on, the better. Uh, the hands-on is going to be probably more than 15 minutes trying to set up uh, every, every, everyone. But it's basically going to be split in two different parts. We have the USB keys. Um, so who hasn't uh, downloaded uh, their virtual machine yet? So we have USB keys. We have given access through FTP um, to those virtual machines. But it might be faster if we circulate the USB key. And we have all of today to uh, set this up. If uh, you have any problem uh, setting it up during the first day, you can ask Trent. Uh, you can ask uh, Jonathan. And uh, you can go out and go in the hall and, and try to, to fix any problems you would have. So. Don't hesitate to get in touch with Jonathan and Trent. Okay, the, on the second day in the afternoon, and a little bit on the third day, uh, so we're gonna have this open session. <laughs> so the open session, I think it was, a, uh, on paper, it was a, a great idea. In practice, we really need you to get involved into uh, 
bringing ideas uh, to that session. The, the concept is, going to, we, is that we're going to have uh, a series of 19 talks. So those talks are going to be very fast. It's meant to be five minutes, and we're going to switch one, from one speaker to another. So it's going to be most likely like four minutes. So those talks are going to be mostly teasers, uh, uh, short talks to get interest from the audience. For, uh, at the end of your lightning talk, I know not everybody's giving a, a lightning talk, but uh, at the end of it, uh, you are asked to specify which track you would like to address your topic so that people can uh, attend that track you know, and go in more in-depth discussions, uh, presentation uh, for your, your topic. So you have the list of all the lightning talks. Um, I don't know, I think it's going to be intense, but I don't know, never, I've never done that before, so we'll see after we have a, a half an hour break. And uh, then you will choose which, which track you want to go to, and uh, you're not forced or required to attend one track, you can move from one to another, but what's important is that at the end of this track, we would like to have 15 minutes uh, getting all together, uh, maybe an average like 15 to 20 people to write some wrap-up notes you know, of uh, what, what you've learned, what went well, wrong, but we could improve in this type of exercise. Uh, but those, each of those tracks are going to be guided by chairs. They don't appear here on the slides, but they are on the wiki. So for each track, you have, um, we have two chairs. Um, we're going to go a little bit more in depth in the description of, the, of, the, of each individual track. But basically, <coughs> we have divided into four. One is use cases, one is tool survey, data forum, hackathon. Um, starting with hackathon, in one hour and a half, you don't really have time to do a hack. But the general concept is that uh, we're going to be, <laughs> yeah, we don't have time. <laughs> but uh, the, the, the general idea would be like, what would you like to hack? What would you like to learn? And uh, we would like to build a list of, uh, of things that uh, you would like to, to understand uh, better and implement or so, uh, solve a problem uh, in, your, in your current uh, workflow or that kind of thing. Data Forum is really, uh, it's going to be uh, dis discussions, uh, it's going to be discussions. Uh, uh, the topics are going to be around data, usability, data formats, searches, access, interoperability, processing, visualization, everything related to data, really. Uh, tool survey, uh, we want to, we would like to build a, uh, I would like to give the opportunity of the people who are presenting tools uh, in, the, in their project, uh, give, give uh, the participants uh, a demo of those tools, and uh, give the opportunity to potential users to give those, those feedback to, uh, to the people presenting, demonstrating those tools. But we also would like to, and this is going to be a, a collaborative uh, effort, we would like to build a list of all existing tools that. Uh, uh, you use, uh, and so that you want to share with uh, with other with other other people. Uh, obviously, we're gonna go in. We're gonna go deeper in the explanation of these tracks la uh, later in the workshop. Use cases is gonna be discussions about scientific use cases. So there are gonna be scientific discussion, uh, scientific uh, discussions on uh, existing and future use cases. As uh, Angelo mentioned, that uh, we want to extend uh, the. The, the scientific fields uh, beyond just uh, surface mapping and mapping science, but uh, we've tried to bring here uh, a, a atmospherists, plasma physicists, uh, as even astronomers. We have two astronomers. Um, so uh, this track also will also be uh, discussions. All right, so on the third day uh, in the morning, after we had all these crazy tracks happening, whatever we, is going to happen, we don't really know yet. But uh, we would like to have like at least one hour to uh, have kind of a plenary uh, session where a representative for each track is going to present what happened in each track and uh, trying to consolidate the outputs of, of those tracks. 
Uh, then we'll start the, the community building part of the workshop. And uh, it's, um, it's gonna start by a series of talks. At the moment we have five talks, but it's not excluded that if you want to uh, say something, even if it's five minutes and you want to put the slides up and you want to engage in a, in a discussion with a, a small presentation, you are, you are free to do it. Uh, following those talks, we're gonna have a, a break and then uh, we're gonna start uh, discussions. Uh, we're gonna minute all of this. At the end of the workshop, we will have, uh, we'd like to collect your feedback on the workshop itself and recommendations to the, the, the planetary, the PSA user group on uh, which relevant development could uh, apply in the next uh, year or so. Also in terms of uh, community building, what would be the recommendation and what can we possibly in practice do in, a, in, a, in the near future. So, okay. Who's timing me? 11.05. Am I good? How much time do I have? Ten minutes? Yeah. Okay, the wiki is for long-term structured content. <laughs> Slack is for communication during and possibly after the workshop. I don't think this URL is working, so. So, hands on. Hands on. Did you set up a shortcut for the wiki? No. So I'm, I'm gonna quickly go to the wiki. Ooh. Who hasn't seen the wiki yet? That's it. It may be that you are from the corporate uh, is a network and is blocked. No, no, you can just go and accept the wiki. Ah, okay. You may get permission to go to the website, but just accept the wiki where you are. Your keystrokes will be monitored for the old workshop, so that's okay. okay. <coughs> the, wiki, the wiki is pretty straightforward. Uh, yes, it is. There is the, the homepage. Uh, you can browse the, the program, you have access to all the abstracts and the participants, you have all the logistics information there, guidelines as well, uh, mostly they are for recommendations on preparing your presentation, so I guess now it's not relevant so much anymore. Uh, regarding the program itself, um, what's important for you now uh, also to set up the, the, your laptop for the hands-on tomorrow, uh, head to the, the hands-on page and uh, read it if you haven't done it yet. Uh, you have already even the, the supporting slides for each of the hands-on. And again, uh, don't hesitate to get in touch with Angelo and, and Jonathan and, and Trent if you have any problem setting this up. What has been added Last night, you may have haven't seen yet, is the, the open session page and sub pages. So, for you have a description, a di um, more in depth description of each track. You have the agenda for the open session. Um, so, I'm going to run through. The what? Ah, okay. How do I do that? To remove the sidebar. Control plus. Yeah, sorry. Oh, I'll take, for example, my track because uh, it, they all have the same structure: objectives, participants, output. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go run through each of them. It's just to tell you the the, the structure and uh, how do we identify the chairs for each of the of the tracks. Um, for each uh, track page on the wiki, we've set up a way to quickly add a page uh, relevant to the output generated for that track. So for use cases, it's gonna be use case. Okay, so we're gonna add a use case and we already have a template. We're gonna fill, in, fill this in during the track. Only the chairs 
will have access to the wiki. Uh, so the chairs are gonna be coordinating this during, during the track. So you need to identify who, who are the chairs from your track. Uh, for tool survey, for example, it's tool services. Um, for, for data forum, it's gonna be topic of discussions. Okay, if I go to data forum, I have the objectives. I scroll down, we have already moderators. We're gonna build the list of attendees uh, during the open session. Uh, and as you can see for the moment, there is no topic of discussions, but there are some suggestions already. This is gonna be written uh, during the open session. And notes gonna be added during the, during the tracks. So yeah, the wiki is pretty straightforward. Um, what's uh, most important, I'll say, is uh, in terms of communication and throwing ideas and asking questions. And uh, obviously, you are encouraged to talk face to face to people. <laughs> uh, but uh, whenever you have uh, something popping up in your mind, or you're, you're just share it. You know, there is no stupid questions. Uh, so I'm just gonna run through Slack quickly. What we'd like to do, how much time do we have? Uh, four minutes. Okay, what do we have next? Uh, at the moment, we have 50, yeah, how many? Uh, yeah, I think it's 53. So who hasn't logged into Slack yet? One, two, Three, four, five, six. Well, it's not bad. So if you could do this now, you all received an invitation. It's really easy. You just have to. Roberto, <laughs> would you have an objection? No, 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 no. I just say. Uh, okay. No, that, that's uh, Slack is very is very easy to use. Um, I started. I, I, the history is that I started using Slack with uh, CartoDB, which is a company, a startup based in, uh, thank you, Christophe. So you can see Christophe has just logged in. Uh, it, it's basically a, a, a chat application, and it, this is to simplify communication within Teams, and uh, it's a central repository for pretty much everything. So you don't need to know about the complex details on uh, what you can do with Slack, but for the moment, what you have to know is that you have and this is what we've set up on the left side. You, on the left side, you see the, ch the, the channels. And for, uh, for the moment, you, you, you should use general for any general stuff you, you want to share or communicate. Uh, then for each, each session, we're gonna have a dedicated channel. For each track, we're gonna have a dedicated, dedicated channel. If you have any logistic, uh, matters to discuss questions, you can put, uh, put that in logistic. So that's pretty straightforward. You have channel, you select, you, you just click on the channel, you send your message, thank you Roberto, Bruno saying hello everybody. Um, you can also have, uh, you can uh, send messages directly to one person, you don't necessarily need to, to send it to a, a full channel. Uh, but I guess when we will address more uh, in detail the, each of the tracks, uh, then we, you will be given uh, more, more of a hands-on you know, yeah. doing things. Now I think we are gonna, we are running a little bit out of time. I'm not gonna run through the functionality of Slack. Again, it's very easy to use, it's very intuitive. Uh, one thing you can do is um, uh, to edit your name and maybe I've seen some people doing it, for example, here, see Angelo Dinzi. Do I pronounce your name well? Dinzi? Matis? Gives an idea of uh, what is he here to talk about or whatever. Uh, I've seen others saying, you know, uh, geological mapping. Whatever information you think that might be relevant to describe you, at least for that workshop, you can, uh, you can, uh, you can put it when you, when you set up your profile. <coughs> It's searchable, it's staying there, and then we can uh, process it and put it on the wiki as needed. Yeah. I guess you go, you go at the bottom here, and you go your profile, 
and uh, you can edit your profile here. You can add your name. This is kind of a fake account that we're using to put on stage, so it's walk stage, so it doesn't have any purpose. But here you can uh, put your name, what you do. And I think that, that that's it for Slack. Okay. So, uh, if you want to tweet, use this hashtag, Isaac ZIS 2015. All right, nothing more to say. Uh, now, important logistic information. Uh, Wi-Fi, you're all connected now. Uh, lunch. Um, 1.30 every day, we go for lunch, we close the door, everything's locked. Okay, so you can keep all your stuff here. You can't enter during lunch time. You're gonna be having lunch and you come back here an hour later. Uh, social dinner, uh, we will set up a Google spreadsheet to confirm for dinner and the menu uh, that you want. The menu is on the wiki, is it? On the logistic page. So look at the menu and pick the menu you want. Uh, it's due to, what, Tuesday? Today at one o'clock, uh, three o'clock. So do that be today before three o'clock. Confirm your participation in the social dinner and select your menu. Uh, the location, everything is on the wiki. Um, certificate of attendance for uh, those who would need a certificate of attendance for your company or institution or whatever. It's gonna be at the registration desk. Uh, it's placed in a, in a tray, uh, just ask us. Taxi, same thing, we have a request form at the registra registration desk. You can request a taxi. Uh, shuttle last day, there have been a few modifications. Uh, we were originally supporting one shuttle bus going to the airport. We're gonna have two, one going to the airport, one going back to Madrid. So one is gonna leave at 2.30 for the airport. And it's gonna go now to terminal one and four. And another one, is gonna go to the hotel half an hour later. Uh, you will be picked up at the security gates, so outside Isaac, so you need to get out of Isaac. Don't wait here. Um, okay, and we will remind you this, but for, the, for those who are staying here for lunch, uh, you will be able to drop your stuff uh, in a secure place we call the VIP corner. So you will be VIP for an hour or so. Um, What was that for? Santa? The for the reading to do your laptop. Ah, for the presentations. Yeah. But to this one. Okay. If you really need to use your laptop for a presentation, uh, you yeah, set it up with Angelo, for example, uh, <laughs> the coffee break. And uh, hands on, we already addressed that. The USB key should be circulating now. Otherwise, if you want to try downloading it, uh, you just go to the hands on page and you will have all the URLs there to access and download. The, all right, so I think, do we have general questions? No? 